What's up, YouTube? I'm your boy Double Eight Eye Skills, and this is my reaction uh, to the Portugal game. I'm not even wearing my Portugal shirt. She wore it. I actually wore it. My brother got me this for my birthday. And he's dabbing on him. Uh, Portugal, Spain just finished, bro. What'd you think? Good or bad? I was literally on my edge of my seat the whole time. Yeah. I was just listening to Anthony say, Passa puta la bola. <laughs> hey, wow, you learned. Nice, nice. She's speaking Portuguese. Bro. Uh, yeah, she, what I was saying was pass the ball. I just constantly say pass the ball when I'm watching these idiots, bro, because, oh, they played so bad, but they got the result. Hey, listen, end of the day, uh, I literally, the game was ending, right? And then uh, one of the homies that, that I've been following my YouTube channels for a long time, he was, uh, uh, you know, I'm talking about uh, uh, a Gayako? Yeah. Yeah, so he was like a Twitch mod for me and stuff. He DMs me, he goes, hey, man, please tell me that you recorded your reaction, and I was like, I was like, Ray, I should have recorded my reaction. I, like last year, I recorded all of my reactions. So if you guys want me to record my reaction, smash a big old thumbs up. Get this to like 10,000 likes and I'll do it if you guys want that. But yeah, I guess my reaction to the game is just like, yo, I, like, I don't want to make this. I never make the Portugal games about Ronaldo, but this is about Ronaldo. This one. And don't be messy. What happened when you posted about Ronaldo? Was it all messy? It's it so was annoying. A lot of messy. It's so annoying. <laughs> it was a lot of messy. Bro, this conversation's not about Messi about Ronaldo. The reason this is about Ronaldo is because scoring a hat trick against Spain is like is like it's is like, like it's and bad. going on a successful diet. For real? It works. It's just very hard. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm literally oh. just kidding. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Don't try to blow a damn kiss at me now. You are you serious? Like Jake Paul says, dab on the haters, bro. Uh, scoring a hat trick against freaking Sergio Ramos, PK, and the best goalkeeper in the world, De Gea, who had one of the biggest mistakes I've ever seen in World Cup history. Um, yeah, massive, dude. So I don't think this is about Ronaldo and Messi, man. End of the day. Uh, if Messi showed up and scored three goals against Spain and got his team a draw, when honestly Portugal probably could have walked out of there with a win, not based off their performances, based off the fact that when Portugal went up 2-1, you guys know, like I know, yo, Portugal's a very defensive team. You saw how they played the Euro. So I thought, okay, we're up 2-1, we've gotten it back, we got a lucky bounce on De Gea, this is it, that's gonna be the win, because De Gea messed up, and that's gonna be our lucky break. Nope, unfortunately, uh, Roy Patricio doesn't come out right at the ball, Joao we shouldn't have fouled. Uh, let's break this down real quick. First of all, I gotta say that the Portuguese manager made a massive mistake because you're playing Spain who, I don't care how Spain's last results have been in competitions, Spain is Spain, bro. They dominate possession, they pass the ball away. They're the international Barcelona. They play very well and they play with the possession. So when I saw the lineup, I said, okay, you know what, I'll take Dumbo. I call Gedge Dumbo because he got really big ears. Ronaldo, Dumbo, and, and yeah, you call him Dumbo? Yeah, Ray actually, she didn't know how to say his name, she started calling him Dumbo. Um, all right, so Dumbo with the big ears up top, that's Geds. Ronaldo and and and, uh, and Bernardo, uh, Bruno Fernandes. I mean, who the hell was it? Uh, Bernardo Silva. At that point, I'm like, okay, you know what? He's going pretty offensive. That's pretty nice. But then I saw the midfield with João Moutinho, William Carvalho, and Bruno Fernandes. And I thought to myself, what the hell is he doing? Because out of all the times that Portugal has played defensive the entire Euro, he shows up with a very attacking-minded midfield. Because Bruno Fernandes is an attacking mid. Even though he can do stuff, he's really an attacking mid. João Moutinho was more of an attacking player. And William Carvalho the only CDM. So in my opinion, I'm like, yo, it should have been someone like Andre Silva, Manel Fernandes, and William Carvalho. He shows up with attacking midfield. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Uh, but I guess you scored three minutes enough of a penalty. That in my opinion is a penalty, not because I'm Portuguese, simply because uh, he got touched. Is it a weak penalty? It's a very weak penalty, but he got touched. Um, and, and then, you know, we come, we're up 1-0. A few minutes later, uh, a foul occurs on Pepe, and Pepe does fake a lot. I'm Portuguese, man, but I'll, I'll say it how it is. There's a foul uh, because uh, Diego Dirty Costa drops an elbow into Pepe's throat. That should be a foul not given. Diego Costa scores a brilliant goal after the foul's not given. I say this, Diego Costa's goal is absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I wish they would have not given that goal, and I wish Isco's ball would have went in, because that shot that Isco put in, the goal line technology, it wasn't a goal, but that was unbelievable. That should have been a goal. Goal of the game for me, big boy Nacho. That goal was unbelievable. I know Ronaldo's goal was more significant, significant, but uh, Nacho's goal was an absolute banger. Now, the biggest thing in this game is this. De Gea's mistake you're not going to see often, okay? Ronaldo did score a penalty, but he still got a hat trick. Uh, uh, Nacho's goal, if you give him 10 attempts at those, he'll probably make it once if he's lucky. He'll never do that again. That's a very, very lucky shot, but a great shot. But that's what you do in football. So there's a lot of mistakes and a lot of luck in this game. De Ronaldo's goal on De Gea was absolute luck and a mistake by De Gea. 
um, Nacho's goal was a brilliant one, but one that you just hit hoping and praying. So it could have went either way. Honestly, I think at the end of the day, a draw is probably a fair result to both teams. Spain dominated the game. Portugal got good goals. But um, like I said, man, I guess at the end of the day, it's not talking about Portugal because their lineup, in my opinion, was completely wrong. Uh, you got Ruben, and I'm not saying this because I'm a big Fiquista. You got Ruben Diaz there that should be playing over Font because Font's playing in China and he's slow and he's just, he's not that good. That's why he left the EPL, in my opinion. But at the end of the day, they played a good game. They did what they had to do and they walk out with three-day result. Now let's move to why I say that we talk about Ronaldo. Uh, if Messi scored three goals against Spain, we'd be talking about Messi. We'd be screaming and going nuts about Messi. Um, and there comes a point where you could talk about Ronaldo without having to say Messi's name. Like, if, you, if I tweet anything about Ronaldo right now, it's like, but it's, it's Messi still better. It's not about Messi. Today, Ronaldo was unbelievable. Today was some, like, like... Yo, it's like some stuff that, like when, when LeBron did the 3-1 against Golden State. It's not something you see often. Ronaldo scored a banging hat trick against a very good team. Um, and he scored an unbelievable free kick, which everyone knows Ronaldo's free kicks for the national team are not that great. That dude misses a lot. But I, right when they went in, I even turned around. I was like, I knew that ball was going in. There was something about, like, the look in his eyes and the way he, it sounds like a Twilight story, bro. The look in his eyes, the way he picked the ball up, how mad he was just five minutes before that because he got in a fight with Jordi Alba. I just thought to myself, he just got in that fight with Jordi Alba. He wants to stick it to him. He wants to show Spain. He wants to give it to the team. You know, he's having problems with Real Madrid. It was just a perfect scenario. Spain just hit him with a two-year, so, uh, he could have went to jail for two years. He has to pay $19 million. He has to pay 19 million in sentence to two years in jail. The reason he's not going to jail is just like Messi, it has to be over a three year sentence. You know about that? Spain hit him with that this morning. He has to pay 19 million and he's supposed to go two years in jail, but he gets to avoid jail. So Messi got hit with the same thing. So that, you got you pissed off at Spain. Then you have the thing going on with Real Madrid where you want money, but they're not thing and you want to leave. You got that. And then you get in a fight with Jordi Alba. When he picked that ball up, I was like, this is it in the back of the net. And then it hit the back of the net. I freaked out and I just prayed and prayed and prayed that the ref would blow the whistle. Um, so that's really my reaction. I will be honest with you. I did a lot of cursing. I did a lot of jumping around. I did a lot of screaming. Uh, it probably would have been a very, very funny reaction video. Um, I just never thought about posting it. He did a um, lot of this. The TV's there and he goes. <laughs> I only got. He's not going to watch. Maybe if I don't watch, <laughs> maybe something will make me so mad, bro. But however, can we, can we talk about the good luck? Because I told you. Since we've been together, right? Oh God, here we you, go. You want to talk about this? Oh Since God. we've been together, right? I tell him that I bring the luck because Befica won. Yeah. Twice. Who's are these? Since we've been together. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Portugal won the Euro for the first time Ant's ever seen in his little life, right? They won the first time Euro forever in their life. They've never won it before. They never won anything. That was their first competition ever winning something. Well, there you go. All right. And now Portugal goes up against Spain. And Bro, well, what did Ant say this morning? We're going to get smashed. What, I've been watching the I World say? Cup my whole life. Hey, what did I say would happen in this game? Did I not say the ref will make a massive mistake? This is true. And what happened on the first call? <laughs> <laughs> For Spain. The ref makes a bullshit call. Point blank, period. A lot of people though are going to say that the call on Ronaldo or for Ronaldo was BS's A ball. pen? Yeah. It was a weak penalty, but he gets touched. It's a weak, I said it myself, I'm Portuguese and I'm saying it. it's a weak penalty, but there's contact. Mm. There's contact. So it's really down to how stupid of a ref you have at that point to call the whistle. He didn't dive. He did not get not touched. He got touched. He fell over. Any ref could have picked it the way they wanted to pick it. We got lucky and the ref picked it that way, but the ref picked it that way because he knew what was coming. He knew the rest of the <laughs> was coming. He knew. <laughs> He knew the rest of this was coming. You know what I'm saying? He knew what was, he knew. He was Italian, bro. Italians hate the Portuguese, bro. Mm -hmm. Italians hate us, bro. They hate us, bro. They always knock us out the World Cup. Them and the Germans, bro. They out to get us. And that's why I got this shirt to dab on the haters. That's why you gotta keep your, your, your You're not the close. good luck charm. <laughs> get out of here. I'm the best luck charm. Don't make me, don't make me say some bad stuff on camera and then have everyone hate me because I'll say it. Oh, well, I'll say it. What you got? You don't wanna know. You gonna put us on drama alert? <laughs> Shut up. Hey, man, hopefully you guys enjoy this, man. That's my talk about the game. Uh, again, man, I'm one of those people that when I watch a game, I'm a realist, man. Could that call have gone Ronaldo's way or not gone Ronaldo's way? 100%, yeah. It came down to the ref. Did he get touched? Yes, but it's a weak penalty. I said that from the jump. 
Uh, Ronaldo's free kick was brilliant. Uh, De Gea's mistake is a very, 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 you know, you shoot that at De Gea 20 times, it's going to happen once. Nacho's goal, you shoot that 20 times, it's going to happen once. Any player, to be honest with you, because it's just an unbelievable shot. Uh, but it's very hard to get that type of a knuckleball off. Um, you know, and, and then the penalty is a penalty. They're like, a, like, it's just, a, he's, of course, he's going to score. That's Ronaldo on a penalty, but it wasn't a penalty. I don't know. And then Roy Patricio should have came out at the, the Spain goal, and he didn't come out. And it was a nice header, and it fell right to Diego Costa. So that's my reaction. If you guys want me to give an actual reaction from now on to uh, the games, smash a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe here. Uh, I haven't done like an IRL video on this channel in a long time, but as I said, um, just let me know if you guys want me to give like the reaction of me freaking out, and I'll make it happen. Thank you all for watching. I love your faces, and we out of here, boy.